Abigail, it's wonderful to have you tonight. Well, we just heard an amazing speech of you during the panel that was wrapping up the outcome of the business day that took place yesterday. And my name is Anna Ritz, I'm reporting for the Student Group Conference, which is an initiative from Max International. And I'd just like to ask you to shortly sum up um, some of the key takeaways and keynotes that you shared with your audience tonight. Okay, great, Anna. So what I what I said is that I know quite a few people are probably disappointed because they feel that they didn't go far enough in the Rio the future we want clauses. Um, I've shared a different perspective, and that is that in fact if we have a look at it, some of what we've got in uh, the clauses. So the fact that we've got sustainable development. The fact that we've got traceability and monitoring encouragement, the fact that we've got uh, commitment and, and encouraging commitment from governments to do natural capital valuations, the fact that there is continued commitment to the sort of health, food security, women empowerment, etc. goals that are critical to us, the fact that a lot of the developing nations have really stepped up and committed to this being a bigger issue. That's all really positive and, and we should accept that. Then from a, a, a business point of view, I must say I'm very motivated by a number of big commitments that I've seen made by business and I'll, I'll mention three really. You know, the one is is, is um, the CEO mandate for water that was signed by 45 companies, and and from what I heard, you know, some really specific commitments. So, um, I suppose I shouldn't mention the name of companies here, but you know, companies saying we're going to set up very specific water funds to address issues um, in the broader Latin American area and make sure that we actually do not. Um, take more water out um, of the environment than you've put back in there. Um, the fact that there's a much broader commitment to sustainable agriculture and the engagement of smallhold farmers so that we can create a systemic um, sustainable agriculture movement as well as addressing food security. The fact that today a number of, of uh, big, a number of governments and big companies committed to the natural capital valuation, the declaration for valuation. They're basically they're saying that they are all committed to valuing natural capital um, in their countries and encouraging companies to do the same. So that we can actually understand the cost of what we do, which is really good. Um, the fact that generally business has committed to much more transparent uh, reporting um, and now there's a process that's going to have a look at how we actually take that mainstream. So, you know, that's all really, I think that's really positive. The part that, um, the part that I think we can do more in and we need to do more how we all work together to make this possible. So there's a, a great initiative as well was launched um, by the UN Global Compact where we're looking at what we call transformational partnerships. So how can we structure partnerships to really make sure partnership, private public partnership, to make sure that they work and address it particularly. Partnerships of course across the value chain customers, companies, suppliers, etc. to address value chain issues. But now we've got to get partnerships going with consumers, and with young people. So I think this is for your audience. You know, at the end of the day, we've heard a lot of a lot of young people talk about it's our future. And you guys come and help us fix our future. Don't mess it up more for us. You know, I, I really want to encourage us to think that we can do this. You know, it, it really is 
it really, if we take this seriously and, and all engage around what does it mean for us to live sustainably? So still have the lifestyle improvement. Now I'm talking particularly in the developing parts of the world. We need to address some of the big uh, poverty issues. Still have those improvements. Um, but at the same time, not harm the resources of the world. And so I want to say to students of the world, come join the movement. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you very much. This is a great statement at the end. Great. Thanks, Ed. You're welcome.